Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first and foremost, I know my hair is a little on the wild side. Don't mind it, I washed it last night and this is what it looks like when it's air dry. Second thing is I am in a new setting. This is a new place. This is a lot different than what you guys are used to but it's because I am up at Penn State again. I'm back home in my apartment in college. So this is kind of what the background and the setting will look like from here on out until I graduate in May and I go back home. So now that that's done and over with, today's video is gonna be a full face using only elf products now I did purchase a few elf products and elf goodies over break and I like I got a lot of new things just to try and film this video with I'm going to be leaving everything linked in the description box below of all the products that I use the only thing that I don't think I'm going to use is eyeshadow because I purchased this new like velvet one that they have going on now this is like a new product that they have and I don't really know how I feel about it just yet and I also didn't get like anything for my eyebrows because I got my eyebrows done over break so those are good to go if you guys would like to see how I do a full face with only elf products then keep on watching first things first I have my wet beauty blenders um, actually this is an elf beauty blender which is funny but I've already been using it anyway and I'm gonna go in with my elf daily hydration moisturizer as long as that can focus and I'm gonna just start off with two pumps like I normally do. That's definitely not two pumps, that's probably three, but whatever. Remember what I always say, make sure your hands are always clean before you apply any makeup. I don't know what this thing is that I'm doing with my hands, by the way, I just, I have a bad habit of talking with my hands all the time. So now that our face is nice and moisturized, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer that I have. I've been using this for years, which is why the bottle is already beat up and stuff. This is like one of my go-to primers if I'm not using the Benefit Professional one. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy using e.l.f. products because they're constantly coming out with new stuff and they're super affordable and really cheap. Like their products are just good just in general. Like it doesn't even matter that they're cheap or not. They really do have good products. Now I'm going to go in with the Flawless Finish Foundation. I came across this because of my sister, actually. She and I swapped foundations a little while back. It's been one of like my favorite foundations to use. This is literally one half of my face with makeup on. Okay, so now that we have our foundation evenly applied, I'm going to use the new 16-hour camo concealer. I actually went to Ulta over spring break just to buy this because I heard it was so good and I'm going to try it out. I heard that a little of this goes a long way and I really hope I got my shade. So we're going to just go ahead with a little bit. I'm not going to do too much. You guys know I like to use the long-edged um, beauty blender just to get into the inner corners of my eyes when I'm blending out my concealer. Okay, so being as though that was my first time using it, I'm gonna say this right away. It's definitely full coverage and I actually really like it. And I think I did get my shade. All right, so the next step that I'm gonna go ahead and do is set all of this in place. I didn't buy any like one thing for my under eye and for my face. I just purchased this e.l.f. like HD setting thing that I've already gotten out of place. I'm basically just gonna apply that all over the face, focusing on the under eyes of course first, and then I'm just gonna dust it on with a brush everywhere else. Usually what I like to do with products like this is just put a little bit on the lid. Okay, so now before I set the rest of my face and before I wipe and dust all of this away, I'm going to use the, I'm not exactly sure what this is called, but it's like a bronzing and a blush like duo set that I purchased from e.l.f. Oh, here goes my camera. Hey. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use this. It's in the shade Fiji Matte. I'm just, I've had this for a little while already, so I didn't go ahead and buy a new contour kit or a new bronzer. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my cheekbones of course and anywhere else that I would normally bronze my face. All right, so now that that's on, I'm gonna take my like fluffy all over the face brush that I normally use um, and I'm just going to wipe away the setting powder. And now before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same powder as earlier 
to just set the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, although this little like face duo thing that I have purchased does have blush, I don't use blush, so I'm not going to attempt it for this video either. You know, this ain't a little like do it for the vine type of thing. I'm not even gonna try it. Okay, so the next thing that I am gonna do is apply some wings on my eyes just because I have this like regular basic elf um, eyeliner, liquid liner type of thing. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so the wings are on, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can tell, but they are definitely not twins, they're not sisters, they're not even cousins, they don't like each other, they're probably neighbors because they definitely don't look the same whatsoever. Um, I haven't done a wing liner in so long, so I think I forgot how to do it, but I'm not even gonna show y'all close up, it's okay. This is what y'all get, okay? This is what y'all gonna get. So anyway, now that that's done and over with and my wings are on, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ELF Waterproof Volumizing um, and Lengthening Mascara. I don't know if you guys can read it right there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this. And this is just a quick question, ladies. If any of you guys do your makeup, I know some of you guys that are watching this right now do your makeup. Let me know. Do you guys put on eyeliner first and then mascara? Or do you guys do mascara and then eyeliner? I obviously do eyeliner first and then mascara. But I know people who do it the other way around. So leave a comment down below and tell me which way you do it. Whether you do mascara first or if you do eyeliner first. Since starting YouTube, I've gotten so better at putting on my mascara without having my mouth wide open because two months ago this would have been me but it's not I could talk and do my mascara all at the same time I really do like this mascara actually because it does lengthen your eyelashes pretty well okay so normally the next step that I would have been doing or I probably would have done this a few steps back was my eyebrows but like I said um, I didn't get any eyebrow products I don't even know if elf actually sells eyebrow products but I did get my eyebrows done over break anyway and they look pretty fleeky to me so I'm not gonna worry about that okay so moving on to my highlight I actually went ahead and purchased this coffee and cream highlight duo it's um, a collaboration with heart defense I don't know who that is but shout out to you girl or company whoever you are this had five stars on e.l.f. This is what it looks like. The packaging is actually super cute. And this is what the inside of it looks like. I haven't really used it yet. I only swatched it. So which shade should I go with? Should I do this one or this one? I'm actually going to probably go ahead and do this one right here. I always like to highlight the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And if you guys already watched my Get Ready With Me, then you know that I also like to highlight the inner corners of my eye and my brow bone. But I'm actually gonna do that using this lighter shade right here instead of the darker one. Look what I just did to my new highlighter. Oh my God. Okay, so like I said, I did get a like eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. I thought this was like really interesting. It's a velvet touch eyeshadow palette type of thing. The colors are really cute, but it's kind of weird and I feel like It'll just like smudge and smear all over my eyes. I don't really know how I feel about it. It does feel super cool. It almost feels like putty because it is like a velvet touch. But yeah, I'm not going to use this today, although I do have it. I'm just going to not use any eyeshadow at all since I already have liquid liner on anyway. Oh my God, I don't know what to do with my hair, guys. Like I was contemplating what to do to this hair, but it's okay. I have like a few lip products here. I just don't know which one I'm going to use. I have this matte lip color which is um, very sorbet. I have this one that's called Tea Rose. I don't know if you guys can see what the color of it is. It's kind of like a mauve color. And then I also have this lip and cheek duo stick. It's basically like a lip pencil. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the lip pencil with the Tea Rose matte lip color. I don't really have big lips so usually when I am gonna use lip liner I kind of like to overline my lips a little bit to make them look a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to take that mauve matte lip color and just apply it all over my lips. And now the last thing left to do is basically just set and lock all of this in place. I'm going to use the Matte Magic Mist and Set from e.l.f. I don't know where the lid to this went, but this is brand new. I haven't used it yet, and I really do like a matte look when I do my makeup anyway. So I figured this would be good, so we're going to give this a try. Okay, so now that that's all in, before it actually sets and dry, I'm going to go back in with my highlighter and just apply more for a little bit of a more glowing effect.
Okay, so there you guys have it. This is a full face using only e.l.f. products. Again, I didn't use any eyeshadow or anything like that. No products for my eyebrows, but everything else was all e.l.f. I did buy it either online or at the store at Cherry Hill Mall. And I'm going to leave everything linked in the description box below, so don't worry about that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so that you guys can get an alert straight to your phone every time I post a video. Leave a comment and tell me which product you guys are interested in purchasing. I will be seeing you guys soon.